your shift from DC, where you have you know the strong Epe really um, club mates, if you will. Like Cat Holmes was, was training there. Uh, you have the Sirico sisters, um, among others. To, to uh, a club in the Midwest, where he said, where there might not be as as uh, consistent bouting partners. Right. How how is that shaping your training and ultimately kind of um, your focus? Right. So the adjustment uh, is a big adjustment. It's a little different than saying what I was used before. So there are less epic fences. Actually, in the club where I'm at now, Ataba Fencing Club, is mostly a, a foil club. But nonetheless, I get to fence the foilers, so they're very kind to me and they switch and fence Epe with me. And I gotta say, it's a great way of fencing because they're really, really fast. So I use their speed to improve my game and the work that I'm doing with a boss is actually very specific Epe work. And so that's actually taking a great um, great part of my time and, and it's really improving my, my mentality and, and then my technique altogether. So I'd say it's a win-win. Where have you seen the the greatest improvements in, in your technique that yes. you said through fencing more foil, but also generally speaking through the, the change to a boss? I would say his lessons are really nice. Uh, so we were working on speed and then point control and then also strength of my arm. And so all together it seems like it's a great recipe to become a, a, a well-rounded uh, fencer. And so I feel like the more I work with him, the better my game is becoming. Okay. Are there, are there particular areas that you've seen from the knack prior to working with the boss to now here at Summer Nationals, um, something really strong or, or really apparent in your point control or in your attack? Yeah, so there was a, a first bout, my first DE bout where really my point control saved my, my saved me, so brought me to victory. and. I honestly owe that to him because we've really worked on, we've been working on just certain moves, and I've actually put that in action, and uh, it, it really did well to me. And now, for others training in the Midwest or anywhere in the country, internationally, where they might find themselves in a similar situation where there's not a strong community of fencers in their particular area. Obviously, you're proving that you can still be successful if you seek it out. You have a strong NCAA background and, and high-level competition background. How can others kind of make their situation work for them? What I believe is I believe fencing is 85% mind and 20 or 15% whatever's left uh, body. So of course the physical uh, ability is very important. You cannot you know go on a strip and not be able to have stamina or not be able to you know, do your moves. But it really comes down to your mind. So you you want to be in a happy place. You want to really focus on on, on your tactics and, and be confident in yourself without being cocky. That's to me that's the the winner. Uh, so what I would suggest for those people they don't have the opportunity to defense many people and it's they're like me in the Midwest with not many fences around. It's just focus on the mind, focus on really improving your game and, and, and be strong mentally. So then when you are in the strip then you'll be able to win no matter what. Speaking of mental stri uh, strength, physical preparation, although you're an FAS, you're also an Italian. That's right. Yesterday there was a fantastic foil clinic by uh, Valentina um, Vizzali. What do you what do you know of her? What's your relationship with her? How has she maybe shaped your fencing career? Right. So, well, she's a foil, I'm an epe. So, I, I do remember her, especially when I was doing my national training with the Italian national team. Um, so, I've seen her a few times. We never got a chance to really fence each other since it's two different weapons. But uh, I've always admired her, and uh, you can see her passion and then her strong mind. And uh, boy, she's one heck of a athlete. I really admire her. She's one of the best out there. All right. Well, uh, you definitely pursuing uh, kind of to be the best in 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 yes. your own fencing activities. Thank you so much for your time and happy training in Wisconsin. Thanks so much for having me back. Bye bye.